Uh -huh. And welcome back to Anyone Can Play Dark Souls 2, a claim that is seeming thinner and thinner. Thinner and thinner, is that how you say that? Weaker and weaker. I guess they're kind of synonymous. Um, but yeah, that I don't want to talk about that last, last episode. I made some poor decisions. I ran into a group of enemies to avoid having to jump over a gap that was about a foot wide. Um, I will choose not to do that this time. But if I don't lose my souls, every time we do this, we're getting like 30,000 souls, another few levels, so it makes it easier to do it next time. So, you know, you're always improving. It's not a roguelike, or a roguelike, no one would ever claim that. But um, the permadeath and getting your souls back and getting genuinely stronger so it's slightly easier the next time is a genuine thing. You know, um, and you get to keep your items. So if you get some upgrade items which you need Twinkling Titanite, not Twinkling, uh, Titanite chunks for right now, we'd have a stronger weapon, maybe takes five less hits to kill the Smelter Demon, and that makes a genuine difference. Even psychological, you know, you see, um, you see his health go down much quicker and like, oh, I'm kicking this guy's ass. I feel like, because we're... Mm, there's something of an impasse, because I want to fight this Melty Demon just because I didn't do anything of any meaning last time, and I deserve punishment for that, and that would be a good penance. But I want my souls back, and to get my souls back, I'll have to go into that area. We'll see what happens. We'll see what I decide when I get there. I said last time that I think I'd already decided, but suddenly I've uh, had second thoughts. The old one two smash. I wonder if me opening this door to shoot that guy in the back with the blister, as joyous as that was, I wonder if that screwed me. Like, I wonder if these guys wouldn't pathfind around to me um, when I just try and run past them had I not done that. Hmm. Ring of Steel protection. I never even looked at it. Um. That one sucks. Ring of Steel Protection increases physical defense. By how much? Where the gains of protection of steel increases physical defense, said to be the ring of the once legendary Knight King. Though his tales are long forgotten, and even the great wiz the greatly wizened have no recollection of his exploits. So who says it then? If no one remembers it and no one knows it, then who's saying it? Story for another day. Let's journey back into this. If I'm just going to get my souls, I can probably run past more of these than I think I can. Which is something you say immediately before getting, um, like, zerged, uh, zerged and ganked. Don't you dare, that door. Thank you, door. I wouldn't call it a, a gank as yet, but it is early days. Praise the sun. I should look up how much protection um, that Ring of Steel protection actually gives me. Don't you dare. So for those that can't piece together what just happened, I got hit with the arrow, which shifted me to the right about four inches, which pushed me into the fire, and the fire killed me. So that's 40,000 souls I'm never seeing again. But as ever, that remains semi... Do you know what? I'm going to grab my Estus flask. I hate when they don't look like ghosts, when they just look like people. It spooks me every time. <sighs> it's funny, because the first time I played through Iron Keep, it was no bother. I mean, the Smelter Demon was, like, a bit of a jerk, but the run back just wasn't anything like this. Still no sign of my Pyromancer woman? Maybe she's enjoying the view. 
I should really look this up. Although Pyromancy is fairly useless in the Iron Cube. So I'm, oh yes, Estus Flask. Don't, oh, it doesn't say CC Blessed because I have an Estus Flask card. There we go. I don't think I've got any Sublime Bonus. I don't remember killing any Cyan Knights who guard Sublime Bonus because I think I think Sublime Bone Dust is Bone Dust from previous people like us. I and mean, it's hard to explain what we are, but we gain all the... I always see the red and I get excited and I remember it's someone that would just come and kill me. This is a very popular... Has he got two Demon Great Hammers? No. Yes, he does. And no clothes. My kind of man. Get backstabbed, you wreck. It's a very popular place for uh, fight clubs, where people put their summon stone signs down and they get summoned here, and they all just like, see, he's probably, he's probably fighting one of those red phantoms. I wonder if that's why they added them, you know, to make it thematically more a fight club. I mean, maybe where the red phantoms are is where they suspect or know that people had fight clubs. You'll see a lot of this. Go for the hit, and then you get to go for the heavy hit. If I had sl a, the weapon slightly upgraded, that one that would one hit them. That heavy attack on a counter. Since there's no souls at risk, you might as well do the smelter demon. Go away. Some jerk coming. I hope they do stop spawning. I really do. I hope it's eight and not ten. Because that would just, you know, if it, if it all I had to do to make this smell demon fight was get to that door, then that's, you know, it's not an unreasonable ask. Then having to fight the smell demon is, but. There's a guy. He comes right from. See in the top left, just below my health bar. He comes from right over that platform. Okay, we're getting the swing of this a bit. Lovely. Break that guy. It's not dead. You guys are just the worst. Where do you come from? Wait. So there's one guy from up there above Bowman. There's the guy that fell down there who I don't think he can get here because he can't open doors. I need some gems so I can preserve my Estus. Do you know what? While I'm here, give myself the best possible chance of survival. I do recognise the insanity about talking about improving your odds of survival while standing on a rickety iron bridge over lava while people shoot arrows at me. This is starting to feel a lot like work. There's a summon sign there. Might be a Luka Teal. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, worst comes to worst. By the end of this video, we will kill the Smelf Demon, even if you have to summon Luka Teal. Because, you know, it's... 
the the title of the video isn't I'm great at Dark Souls, look how easy it is. It's anybody can play it, and this is a resource available to anyone. So if it comes to it, we'll summon Luke Tail. I'm not even bothered. I'm a little bothered. It would annoy me. But I don't really want to be fighting this stupid smelter demon all day. Right, before we get a good hit in. Doing. Okay, flame on. I can respect that. I like his horns. You can get his armor. It's ludicrously heavy. But I think. Yep, that sucked. But I uh, think it gives like l ludicrous protection. Probably from fire as well. Okay, so now his weapon's going to do fire damage. He takes greatly reduced damage during that phase, which is a, a dick move. Oh, don't do the AoE. Don't do the AoE. Oh, he did the AoE. But he's got a, a lot of recovery animation frames there, so... Don't do it. Ha! <laughs> ha! Nerd. Here we go. Well. I don't know why I didn't block that. Or maybe I did. Yep, that's the way you should run away from that attack. I thought he was doing an overhead smash, not the ground stab. Please, just die. You died. First time. First time today. I mean, don't get me wrong, the play up this point has been shockingly bad, but that wasn't bad. You know, we've used three or four Estus flasks. We've got his soul, so I think we can get his sword, which I might do. Um, but this metal demon is dead. By my hand alone. No need for Lucatil. Ooh, a chest. And what happens next? I can don't be a mimic. That would just be just the, the screw use, and there's just like oh, poor sign shield. Check this out. It's a pig face. Oh yes. What does it do? I sh uh, so it's not got great physical. What was that? I didn't know you could right click. Um, not got great. It kind of sucks at everything. But maybe it has some effect. Um, that's not how you do that. Pig, 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 pig. Show item info. The strangely poor sign shield. It's not a strangely poor sign. It's a pig's face. Strangely poor sign would be like a normal shield that kind of had the air of a pig about it. You're like, it's like piggy about this shield, not just a pig's face. The pig's head looks eerily authentic. Okay, maybe that's why it's strangely poor sign, because it's inauthentic. But my point still stands. Uh, but it is an imitation. Though the shield's defensive capability is ordinary, it may spook an unsuspecting foe. I don't think there's a fear mechanic in uh, Dark Souls, so I'd be very surprised if that did anything. 38 strength, that's what we're going for. 16, it's so heavy. Uh, the Dragon Lake shield's... Oh, it's only 6. Yep, okay, so that might never happen. But yeah, so you just kill this metal demon, who is one like a boss that a lot of people struggle with. Um, lovely, lovely bonfire. So I'm back up to forty-eight thousand souls. The amount of souls I would have had had I not lost them all. I think, oh, I'll go back there and check that out again. And this dickhead appears. No one likes you for sure. Although at this point, I think this is the strong, like, I think he gets stronger every time. I 
Why am I fighting the pursuer? I just caught myself. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, just, there's the stairs. Like, yeah, you can't hit through a thin grating, which is fairly realistic. A sword is sharp and heavy, but it won't go through literal, like, forged iron. Iron Hearth Hall. So this is the door I talked about earlier, which I'm very happy to see. This is the jerk that keeps running down. And okay. It's very few souls. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Ooh, a long night. That's what these are called. Are your legs good? Why not as good as mine? They are significantly better than mine, but they're a lot heavier, so that's okay. Okay, so one of the guys has obviously been coming from there. Which to me is like that. I don't even care. The bonfire's right there. You guys are assholes. But you see my point, like, this guy that- more leggings. The guy that stood up here aggroes me when I go, like, around that corner after going out of that door. So I come out- move your face. I'm coming out this door, I get to here, and this guy over here comes and gets me, and then I go across that bridge, and those two guys come and get me? Excuse me? Right, I prefer if you didn't break the bridge, so I'm gonna try and distract you with fire. Yes. Can't back, you can't even backstab these guys. What am I playing at? Maybe he'll fall off. Maybe he will and maybe he won't. Roll away. Yes. Okay. So again, they're an intimidating enemy, which makes me panic. A large Titanite Shard, useless for the minute. Or, uh, nope, yeah, it is useless. I've got 50,000 so I can't, I can't lose another, like, tens of thousands of souls, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't apologize, maybe you get, like, Ben. Go and spend your souls, do it. While we're here, we're gonna pop our soul packets too. Maybe we should go and see that blacksmith as well. Because the Smelter Demon Sword, I, I do think it gives you the Smelter Demon Sword. To, why would I... Two? I'd have to check the tape, which I'm not going to do. But I'm sure it went from like, one, three, two. No, don't leave it, just use it. 800. And a Fading Soul for 10? 50? 50. So we've got Ruined Sentinel, Lost Sinner, Skeleton Lords, Spooky, Covetous Demon, Baneful Queen, and Smelter Demon. Oh, that's what Tree of Seed of, Gi Seed of the Tree of Giants does. So that means if someone invades my world, normally you're at a massive disadvantage because all the enemies will attack you but not them, so they can just even though if you're running away from them, all the enemies will just chase you, but that makes the enemies react to them, and it really, um... It's quite a cool mechanic, I enjoy that. Bear. Seek, seek last, thank you. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to hold that shield. I am tempted by the Zweihander. So let's take this to 20 for the... One point of agility, so... Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Does she wave a feather at me? Is that what happened? I don't know. Let's travel to uh, Lost Bastille to Strayed Cell. Because I think he's he's the only blacksmith we've uh, got that can do boss weapons at the minute. Ornifex comes later. Is he gone? 
Oh no, he's around the corner. I remember. I don't know if these ag aggro. Yep, they do. I don't want to hit. I probably gave him quite a close shave there. Very quiet. Um, these are cool. A gape thing. Absorbs souls in place of wearer. A ring affixed with an open vessel. The vessel insatiably absorbs souls in place of its wearer, who is left on the way even of their collection. All things are rude in souls, but what drives our thirst for them? So this might have been added for people who want to PvP at soul level uh, 120, and they want to grind for items without having to like, amass souls endlessly, but I don't honestly know. I've never seen it before. An uh, intelligence ring. It's no use to me. Lingering flame. What does this do? Okay. So is this guy not a blacksmith? Oh, he is. Oh, that's pretty dope. Smelter sword. I've almost got the strength for it. Um, scales with... What does that mean? Influence of faith and intelligence on fire attack. So it does do fire damage. Which we can you know, obviously see over here. Um, and once I can wield this, then I, I kind of... I, there's no reason not to level, level faith. Well, I, I want the sword because it's cool. Unless I've got something cooler. Come out of this. Thank you. What's this? Roaring halberd. Dex. Ooh, a strength scythe. Need 20 dex for it, though. I've never had that, so I quite, I quite like. Do you know what? I'm gonna get it. Give me that, and give me this. What else have we got? Nothing I want. Although the shield might be good. No, I only use that soul. Uh, it is quite good, but I've already got this one, so I'm not that bothered. And that scales purely with dex. So it does scale very well. B at base level is pretty good. Why are you gonna be just be to be a jerk? Yeah, you already, oh no, I pressed A too quickly. So let's talk about this. I'll buy it just in case it's better than my mask. Why are you gonna call me feeble? I didn't do anything to this guy. If, I, apart from save him. Shut up. So, oh yeah, I've got this, but we need dex for it. Because uh, that's plus three. And this is worse in almost every way. Mannequin mask it is then. And a new bonfire at Iron Keep. Who would have thought they'd see the day? I'm going to curse myself right now. The final boss of Iron Keep is kind of a joke. Like, people talk about him. It's like, uh... He's like, programmer code for insert real boss here later. And they've just never gone back to it. It's like a, a side note. And it's rare to die to the boss. It is common to die to the geometry. I just want to do. Lovely. What about you? Yeah, you want some. One. See, for attacks like that, the amount of um, stamina it took 
to weather his attack is much less than the amount to roll, so it's just like... It's not a good decision to roll at that point. So, you know, the, the lesson is use your shield. Come on, fall, fall in. Oh, I hate this. Please, yes. Never do what I did. Unless you can pull it off perfectly. Do ironclad armor? No, Titan shot, Titan Knight shot. It's very fiery. Yeah, so this bit he smashed up. If he hits it again, it falls out. Look at all these jerks. I think this is to the Belfry? Yes. You can hear footsteps. So I believe this dips this into the water. Um, by water, I mean scalding hot fire. Fantastic. Ah! <sighs> I'm correctly very resistant to fire. Oh, that's why. That's what I was like. Well, how did this guy sneak up on me? But that's because he, uh, he came down with the with the floor. You can, you can go back up with the floor as well. That's fine by me. So he's got a bow. The belfry's not hard to, ooh, not hard to get back to. So I want my gloves. Get your shield out. I'm not going to say some poo came out, but I'm also not going to deny it with any great um, vigor. Okay, so I don't want to step on these buttons, I don't think. Please, thank you. So that's a boss door that isn't actually a boss door. It's a uh, something else. <sighs> okay. Sorry, this is requiring a decent amount of focus because these arrow guys are stressing me out. There used to be buttons on these platforms that you could press, and it would um, make them fall in the lava, essentially, and you could just run around dropping them all in. Don't do the thing. You didn't do the thing, what a nice man. And by the thing I mean sit on me. I assume it's a man. I don't know much about turtle anatomy, if I'm honest. But I do know there's not a lot of women that could wield a sword that, I mean to be fair, all the women that play as the main character in this game could wield a sword, uh, a mace that big, so. Disregard what I'm saying, because it is meaningless drivel. Oh, he's still got a button. Get drop, bitch. So to get that, we have to bring that down. It's fine. It's going quite well. Ah, why did I say anything ever? Oh, there's buttons, there's buttons all over the place. What's wrong with me? I believe we can get up here. Did you 
just spend one day not being a total jackass? See the only one that was shooting at me? I think, yeah, I've got the Ironclad Knight and then we're good. Unless there's someone up there. Which there is. I don't think this fire insta kills you, but I don't want I don't want to find out. I've never got that chest down there. Because I've never bothered to stack fire resistance sufficiently high as to not die instantly when I touch the floor. Still katana. That might be the uh, cool lasery katana I was talking about. Mm. These red phantoms, man, are just why? Oh, you're a sorcerer if I've ever seen one. I don't know. Hold So I think he that there used to be the chest used to be here, and it used to be a mimic. But there's a lot of dead people here. But I'm sure they've been killed by Oliver. So let's just nope, not a mimic. Destructive greater. They're griefing items. Destructive weapons damage someone's equipment when you use them. So if you hit someone, their equipment gets. Um, degraded until it breaks and when it breaks you have to actually spend souls to use it uh, to fix it so again this is this just spits out water to roll in which gives you fire resistance which in this place could be quite useful with all of the fire about but okay we're at 32 minutes this little bit and then I think there's a bonfire at the start of Belfry Luna so we'll get there or actually there's a bonfire not far from oh, we're gonna just press on Belfry Luna we can always come back to it's an optional it's a PvPA and I don't remember if it's got anything worth having that makes me nervous if we fall to our death like an idiot then uh, we'll stop there Black Knight Great Axe some good items man So cool. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here for the Black Knight Great Axe. Which we still can't wield, but again, it's quite cool. Back to my fairly hideous sword. Titanite Shard, Fire Arrows. Along Captain Helm. I don't know if that's better or worse than the other stuff. I assume better. More leggings, so I can sell some of those to Armor Man back at uh, Medulla. So now you have to do this. Stay calm. By the way, help me. You stay calm. Easy. Lovely. Oh, this takes us past the, um... This takes us actually quite close to the bonfire. Do either of you have bows? I think this item here is an Estus flask shard, and it is very, very risky to get. Um, do you know what we might have? We got that plus three heavy crossbow, which we do have the stats to use, but now I need to equip some bolts, wood or heavy. There we go. Um, how do I use this? Can I aim it? No. Let's go down a bit.
This is pretty devious. As long as nothing bad happens while I'm up here, this will go down in history as one of the greatest plays I've ever made. Hmm. What do you know? Let's get my hideous sword back. Which I'm least, uh, it's been good to me. Uh, maybe it hasn't. Maybe it's just a terrible weapon. I'm just an idiot. But oh, this makes me so afraid. Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. That gives me more of uh, more item discovery chance. There we go. So I could open that door, but on the other side is an ironclad knight that might kill me. How am I doing for health? Use a life gem. I nearly walked off there. I was very unhappy. Good. Good. I was concerned about fighting someone like you, so I decided to come this way instead. This may seem idiotic, but I think this is the smarter place to fight him. Yeah, here we go. Crack into these life gems again, because th there's a bonfire before the final boss, and the run to the final boss isn't that bad. But we're almost certainly not going to do it this episode. Secrets? I've never understood what this is for. Like... Goodness. You wouldn't believe the look on my face after, like, what was this for? I'm like, I wonder if I could drop it on this guy and it cuts my junk off. So, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and leave a comment below saying what you liked about it. If you like my suffering, that's a thing you like. Like it and comment that. If you didn't like it, if you don't like my suffering, I'm an idiot, which is fair, and I, you know, respect your opinion. Hit that dislike button and tell me that I'm an idiot down below. I release new content every day, so if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Uh, this has been Stormman Gaming. I am your Stormman, and I will see you tomorrow.